Hey folks, AG Squared here to share with you three tips that I use to effectively pay $0 to drive my truck. I do drive an F-150 Lightning, which is Ford's fully electric version. But before people start reacting with, oh, uh, but Adrian, you actually pay for uh, electricity, man. Not necessarily. Hold on. Here's those three tips for you. Tip number one, check to see if the, at the place you work at, if they offer free chargers. What I do is every time I go into the office at 8 a.m., I plug my truck in. And when I leave, I have anywhere from either 100 to 140 miles of free juice. Tip number two, use an application like PlugShare to see if there's any free chargers near where you're going to be at without, of course, inconveniencing you. Now, an example I'll share is I have access to a charger where in a single hour, I'll be able to get anywhere from 100 to 120 miles of free juice. This hour is perfect for me to be able to do some work, get something to eat, or even get in a, a short workout. Tip number three, if you're planning on going on a trip and you're gonna be flying out of an airport, check to see if there's any nearby options that offer parking and free charging. What better way to come back from your trip, whether it's a business or it's a vacation, than to come to a fully charged car? And I actually have a business trip that's coming tomorrow that's gonna require me to go to an airport for about five days. A great opportunity for me to also share some tips on how to ensure that you have the best experience charging your car at an airport. The very first thing one I recommend is to do some research. What does your airport offer in terms of charging options? And choose the one that's best for you. Me in particular, I love parking at a nearby facility. And the one I love using is called Preflight. I've never had an issue with them and it's always been a good experience. Now for them, I go to their website and I'll enter my information, including when I plan to check in, when I plan to check out, and I choose the option that I know is going to get me access to the chargers. This is important and something you might even consider if it's not on their website, calling them so that you can learn if you have to choose a particular option to get access to those chargers. This facility, that option is the covered option. If I chose uncovered, I won't be able to actually get access to the chargers and then I'd already start my trip off in a bad way. And it's that simple. But instead of just talking about it, let me actually share with you that experience of arriving at that facility and charging my truck. Good morning, folks. All right, we're, we finally arrived here at Preflight Airport Parking. And we got here right in time because, check this out. We are at 14 miles range. So we're just gonna go ahead and check in here and uh, show y'all how to charge the truck. Okay. So, we're gonna head over to Covered Parking. That's where we're gonna find our chargers. I've been here before, so I already know, pretty familiar with this place here. There's a wide turn here on the, I have to make here on the right, and with this truck, I gotta open up quite a bit to be able to make this without an issue and like i said here is that other scanner that we gotta scan through y'all will see it do not enter but i have to there's no other way and then i see ev there was a sign there that said turn right so let's go ahead and turn right and uh, figure out where the chargers are at here i see some teslas back there so that's probably Indicative of chargers. Okay, so I'm starting to see options here. I'm gonna park next to this Tesla. Looks like there's a couple ports there. So, oh, and there's another port here. So I'm actually just gonna park here. You see them right there. I'll show y'all what, as soon as I finish parking the truck. I'm normally much better at parking, but I am doing it with just one hand here. So bear, bear with me, folks. I don't want to get too close to the Tesla. So we're just going to park right here. There we go. Open up a little bit and I'll show you how I get hooked up. And all we do is we're just going to unload my charger, plop it on the ground for now. And grab right, this fella. And just get it connected. Just got 
Make sure there it is, turns blue. I know that puppy's working. Should see that blink. Nice. And then I wanna just get that out of the way. Cool. Look at all that space, y'all. I love this frunk. It's awesome. And then the last thing I like to see, I can check it in the app, but here in the front, uh, we'll see if it's charging or not. And there you have it. That's a sign that it's charging.